Kirsty Alsop has brought Megan bullying behavior to light after Tka has confronted by Kate. Kirsty is well connected in aristocratic circles and her mother was childhood friends with the Duchess of Cornwall. And has close ties to Camilla, said Kate Middleton was left in tears during an argument with Meghan in May 2018. Over the years there have been reports of strained relations between Meghan and Kate. The infamous row between Kate and Meghan was first reported in 2018, when it was said the Duchess of Cambridge ended up crying after a fitting for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress. At the time, an insider had claimed, Kate had only just given birth to Prince Louis and was feeling quite emotional. But Meghan hit back at the claims when speaking to Oprah earlier this year, claiming she was the one who ended up in tears, not Kate. The Duchess of Sussex said, no, no. The reverse happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding. And she was upset about something, but she owned it, and she apologized. And she brought me flowers and a note, apologizing. And she did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone, right, to just take accountability for it. But location, location, location presenter Alsop told The Telegraph the Duchess of Sussex failed to mention another dispute over Meghan's alleged bullying. Kate never ever loses her temper, but she found out Meghan was being rude to staff at Kensington Palace and she was angry with her, Kirsty said. Then, Kate burst into tears because she'd lost control and she did take Meghan flowers to try and patch things up. The Duchess of Sussex fiercely denies the bullying claims, and her spokesperson said she's the victim of a calculated smear campaign. In 2018, it was reported the Duchess of Sussex also made Kate cry over her demands for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress for her wedding to Prince Harry. In her Oprah interview Meghan denied that and claimed it was the other way round, saying the reverse happened and that Kate had apologized to her for making her cry. She told the American host, a few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining, yes, the issue was correct, about flower girl dresses, and it made me cry, and it really hurt my feelings. But Ms. Orsop has now said Kate was the one who cried, and claimed the argument was over allegations that Meghan was rude to Kensington Palace staff. Ms. Orsop, who is a family friend of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, told The Telegraph, Kate never ever loses her temper, but she found out Meghan was being rude to staff at Kensington Palace and she was angry with her. Then, Kate burst into tears because she'd lost control and she did take Meghan flowers to try and patch things up. In a further twist, it was reported that Kate tried to make up with Meghan by offering her flowers as an apology, only for her olive branch to be rejected. Formal allegations about the Duchess of Sussex were made a few months after she was confronted by Kate Middleton. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's former communications chief, Jason Knauf, reportedly submitted an email alleging unacceptable behavior by the Duchess in October 2018. He compiled a dossier outlining allegations, which was sent to the Duke of Cambridge's private secretary. Meghan allegedly snapped it's not my job to coddle people after aides were left in tears and humiliated by her difficult demands. Mr. Knauf claimed Meghan's alleged treatment of staff was totally unacceptable, adding that she seems intent on always having someone in her sights. One courtier also claimed that the Duchess governed by fear while it was also reported there was a febrile atmosphere. Another ex-employee alleged they had been personally humiliated by Meghan, whose behavior felt more like emotional cruelty and manipulation, which I guess could also be called bullying. The Sun revealed in March that Kensington Palace were investigating claims of bullying against Meghan focused on her royal tour of Australia. The 16-day trip in 2018 is said to have been host to a series of clashes between Meghan and her staff. However, earlier this week, Meghan's lawyer Jenny Affier addressed claims that she inflicted emotional cruelty on underlings and drove them out. The Shillings lawyer said Meghan absolutely denied bullying staff. But when asked to explain further, she denied.
tears because she'd lost control and she did take Meghan flowers to try and patch things up. The Duchess of Sussex fiercely denies the bullying claims, and her spokesperson said she's the victim of a calculated smear campaign. In 2018, it was reported the Duchess of Sussex also made Kate cry over her demands for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress for her wedding to Prince Harry. In her Oprah interview Meghan denied that and claimed it was the other way round, saying the reverse happened and that Kate had apologized to her for making her cry. She told the American host, a few days before the wedding, she was upset about something pertaining, yes, the issue was correct, about flower girl dresses, and it made me cry, and it really hurt my feelings. But Ms. Orsop has now said Kate was the one who cried, and claimed the argument was over allegations that Meghan was rude to Kensington Palace staff. Ms. Orsop, who is a family friend of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 